So I'm going to show you how to prepare a strategy map image for use in your scorecard application. Now, the strategy map you're looking at happens to be one for our consulting business, uh, PM2 Consulting, and I've prepared it in advance. You can prepare a similar one using the PowerPoint template that you can download from the website. Now, in terms of the strategic objectives, what I've done is put the weightings slightly below and to the right. And the reason for this is inside a spider, we're going to use the performance indicators to go over top where the strategic objective is. Now, we can use the strategy map as it currently exists, but I've found that if you're uh, to make it look a bit better, what we're going to do is take each strategic objective, and in fact, we could delete them because we only really want the arrows, but then it becomes a bit tough to remember which indicator you're going to put where. So what I then do with a copy of the strategy map is take the strategic objectives, and I choose no fill for the objectives, and also no outline. Now what we end up with is an image that I can easily point, paste the indicators on top of, but I'm reminded of which indicator goes where. What we now need to do is take a screenshot of this strategy map. So I'll just go into slideshow mode, and in this case, unfortunately, I left some builds there, so I'll just quickly build a slideshow. Now I'm going to print it by hitting the shift button and the print screen button, which is in the top right-hand corner of your uh, keyboard and that will take an image that will be saved into memory. What I'll then do is go into paint and work with the image.